Hello and a very warm welcome and in today's video we're going to talk Lewis Hamilton and Ari's achievements. Yeah, does he get enough credit for the achievements he has done in Formula 1? Lewis Hamilton divides opinion, you either love or hate him, but there's no doubting, he is one of the best to ever grace this amazing sport. I've seen a lot of uh, comments and posts this week comparing Schumacher and Hamilton. You're comparing different eras. Um, and when Lewis and Michael raced, Michael was finished. He wasn't the same guy. So, um, yeah. It's interesting. Does Lewis Hamilton get enough credit for his achievements in the sport? His achievements are outstanding with the most poles and most wins of any F1 driver. Schumacher labelled as the GOAT, but Hamilton has toppled him on the records. So, of course, it divides opinion. Does he get enough credit? It is outstanding. It is outstanding. I'm a hardcore Lewis fan, followed his whole career, and what he's achieved is remarkable. Now, he does divide opinion, of course, but it's always off off track, off track. It's not on track. Um, yeah, I support him as an F1 driver. I don't, not particularly bothered what he does off track. Um, yeah. Um, it's outstanding though. 103 wins, 103 poles, 188 podiums from 301 starts. I mean, that... That in itself is a statistic. 188 podiums from 301 starts. So that actually means in his career, he's only been off the podium like, uh, let me do some quick maths, um, 113 times. It's quite impressive. Yeah. And always labelled at Lewis is the best car argument which is a nonsense argument because did Schumacher have the best car? I mean, you, you go through it. People label Lewis as best car, lapdog teammate. Schumacher, best car, 2000 to 2004, lapdog teammate. I mean, lapdog teammate. Barrichello was probably worse than Bottas, yet we don't seem to mention this. Barrichello moved over at Austria in the last corner to allow... It's just, he was the ultimate lapdog. And then you have Vettel, Sebastian Vettel. Mark Webber, another lapdog. So, yeah, I don't get it, me. I mean, you need a good car to win the F1 title. I mean, name me a champion who's won in a bad car. It, it doesn't happen. So I, don't, I, don't, I never understand that argument. And it is the same with Michael and Sebastian. Um... Yeah, on track, he is one of the best, Lewis Hamilton. Of course, off track, you can talk to me about all this politics, you know, Black Lives Matter, you know, all these stuff. But on track, he delivers. He is one of the best. And he's proved it year after year. Now, he gets labelled he can only win in the best car. Again, we've seen proof that he's won in a poor car. He's won without the fastest car. Um... 2020 Turkey, fine example. Um, yeah, and Lewis, he honestly could be a 10-time champion. Of course, if my auntie had a dick, she'd be my uncle, but 07, he should have won it. He was in pole position to win that. 16 and 21. So he, he actually could be a 10-time champion already. Yeah. I don't get it. Schumacher seems to get more credit than Lewis. Why? Someone explained to me. Schumacher labelled as a GOAT, the greatest of all time. His first championship should have never have stood, as he should have been disqualified. Um, and he was a very dirty driver, but he's absolutely idolised by many. Um, yeah. At all these greats, even Senna, Prost... Schumacher, they've had to take people out to win championships. You can't say Lewis has ever done that. Um, uh, yeah. 
Schumacher gets more credit. He, Lewis is the best UK driver we've ever produced. Um, tough start in 2022. He really struggled at the start. It was Honestly, it was bad. And then we have the back shite, making up back injuries. And then five podiums in a row, and he looks back to it, the old Lewis. He's top three of all time. I don't like the comparisons between eras. For me, I would put Senna as number one. And Schumacher and Lewis, it's a toss-up. But if you're going on stats, Lewis is the better man. Um, yeah, interesting. We'll divide opinion. But the biggest topic is, really, does he get enough credit for his achievements? He's got the most wins, the most pole, uh, most wins, most poles. Arguably could have the most championships. So where does he stand? Comment down below. Would love to know. I'd like to get an outside view. Someone who's not from the UK. Um, just uh, someone who's just a straightforward opinion from someone not from the UK. Thoughts on Lewis. And they always revert back to off-track stuff. But on track, on track, he is one of the best. Off-track, he is what it is. Um, yeah, all this... Um, Black Lives Matter, political stuff. We're here to watch racing. Um, yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Comment down below your thoughts on Lewis Hamilton. Divides opinion, but he is an all-time great. Whatever happens from now till the end of his career, he will be known as an F1 legend.